Hey guys, how are you doing? Uh, another video for you guys. Today I'm really excited. I got my hands on these Polaroid Originals uh, Color SX70 film. Um, and I wanted to do a little unboxing on this film and uh, tell you a little bit about why I'm so excited for it. Um, so let's go back in history a little bit and talk about uh, The Impossible Project. I've done a few videos on their film back then when their uh, film came out in like 2008. Uh, the Impossible Project kind of took over uh, from where Polaroid left off when they were making instant film. So The Impossible Project, they were producing film with their own formulas and they were trying to like revive instant film basically after Polaroid stopped making it. So uh, what makes this really cool is that uh, this brand, Polaroid Originals, is actually The Impossible Project. So last week, The Impossible Project uh, basically took over Polaroid uh, brand. They uh, kind of rebranded the, the, themselves as Polaroid Originals and now the Impossible Project is no more and uh, Polaroid Originals is making all the film now and uh, it's really cool. They're making film for the SX-70, they got the 600 type cameras, the Spectra and their own i-type camera and uh, the reason why this is so cool is just like, this is kind of like the next step for, for them and instant photography in general for it to come back into the mainstream. Uh, as you know, like Instax, Fujifilm Instax, those uh, smaller instant photos are become really popular now. So other companies are trying to jump on board, you know, uh, Leica's got just announced like uh, their own instant film camera that shoots like the Instax types and uh, even Fuji Films making like square type uh, instant photos again. So Polaroid Originals is kind of like, all right, let's go back to the roots. Let's bring Polaroid back. So we'll see if that's true. I'm going to test this film. We're going to see how, how good it's become since uh, the Impossible Project. And I've been shooting the Impossible Project film for, for years since its inception. And uh, it was really, really terrible back then. I wasted so much money on that film. And uh, they released new generations of the formula and stuff, and it's gotten better. I've tested the newest stuff, and uh, it's not bad. It's getting close. It's getting close to what Polaroid had back in the 90s, but uh, it's still a bit far off. Photos still take a while longer to develop. Uh, they're more sensitive to light and stuff, so you still got to be a little careful shooting it. But uh, it's just, I love this way more than the Fuji Instax because of the full, large, square frame and also because of the uh just the look of the film it's more i don't know it's more spontaneous more artsy whereas the instax is it's kind of like they nail down their colors and stuff it's more accurate and it's definitely more fun to shoot at parties but this is kind of more of an artsy kind of thing so we'll see how that is i'm gonna unbox it for you guys today and then i'm gonna do another video with the test after i shot it and uh, give you my own thoughts on it so let's get to the unboxing all right, guys. Uh, well, here it is. This is the uh, Color SX-70 film unboxing we're going to do from uh, Polaroid Originals. So right away, the design of the box I really like. It's pretty good. It's uh, bold. It's got the bold red color for the SX-70 film. Bold text. So uh, they're really trying to make sure you buy the right film. And uh, they're all color coordinated. So the 600 type film and the I type film, it's all a different color. SX-70 film, red. Really nice, bold, kind of harks back to the designs back then because Polaroid is a very colorful company. So this makes sense. Uh, eight instant photos. Uh, all the Impossible Project type film, they only had eight photos in. I guess they couldn't figure out how to get 10 of them in there yet. I heard the formula is different, so it's thicker. They can't put eight photos in without the cartridge jamming. But I feel like they really got to figure out how to get 10 photos in if they want to compete and bring the value to the customers. Um, all right, around the back, just some more information about the film you're buying. Uh, classic white frame, of course, ASA 160, that coincides with the camera you're using it with, so make sure you're using it with SX70 cameras. They look like this, and also vintage Polaroid box type 1000 cameras. They kind of look like this. Of course, the variation always, there's a lot of instant cameras. This is not for the newer i-type cameras that uh, the Polaroid original company slash the Impossible Project made, the i-type. Uh, this is for the vintage cameras, so make sure you're using it with the old Polaroid cameras. Um, yeah, okay, so photos develop in 10-15 minutes. 
yeah, that's pretty good. They used to develop in like 20 to 35 minutes, even longer. So this is a huge improvement to what the Impossible Project has been doing. And I know they're working on making it even quicker. Uh, best store refrigerated, keep it in your refrigerator, but don't let it freeze. And uh, yeah, again, not for use of eye type cameras, different type of film pack, guys. All right, but uh, yeah, this is the back side, PolaroidOriginals.com, SX70. Yeah, I really like the look of it. It's really, really nice box. Good job on the design. There's even a very subtle diamond pattern. I don't know if you can see that on film, but that's just a just a play on like the actual texture of the the frames in there. They they have this kind of diamond diamond really subtle diamond pattern. It's really cool. Way better than just like a flat white. All right, let's open it up. So just from the top, pull that. Ooh, nice. And then we're just going to open this up. Sides here. Just going to pull this off. Ooh. And the first thing you see, you see it there. It says, how to make great photos. There it is. Because I guess, uh, you know, it's still, the film is still a little finicky. I've tested the Impossible Projects newest films and like you still got to be careful with like shooting up in broad daylight and stuff you want to shield your film as it develops and stuff like that it's not completely uh spot on as like what you remember with uh polaroid back in the 90s so there's this little instruction manual before use keep your film refrigerated uh that's good keep it cool make sure your camera is good clean the rollers to make clearer pictures uh, let there be light. The more light, the better it'll turn out. So what it's telling you to do is shoot it in broad daylight. Don't shoot it indoors in dark places. Uh, it's not good. Cover it up, shield it, and don't shake it. So yeah, uh, once, it, once the film ejects out of the camera, it's still pretty sensitive to light. So you want to kind of shield it from the light for the first six minutes of development. That's what it says to make sure the photo develops properly. And then, uh, yeah, there's some, some more little diagram here basically telling you how to shoot it. Take your photo, don't shake it, put it in your pocket, shield it from light, and then uh, in 15 minutes, you'll see your photo. Pretty cool. And it's gonna be awesome if they really just keep working on the formula and work to get you know, quicker developing times and like back in the original Polaroids, you can just shoot it and it develops, you watch it, you don't need to shield it from light. So cool. That was really the magic of it all. All right, so after that, there's nothing else in this packaging. The film, film pack. Boom, there it is. Just like the, that's just how I remembered. And you see, there's also a detail here. Still says impossible. So from what I know, I think what I read online is that this, this isn't any kind of new generation type of film. If you've been shooting impossible, their latest generation is this one. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for the unboxing. So this goes into the camera. Uh, and I see they have the, they just have the, this is called the dark slide. This shields the light from getting in and ruining the film, obviously, when you take it out of the box. But the dark slide, uh, when the Impossible Project had it, they used to put quotes and stuff on it. I thought it was kind of neat. I guess this is just the original stuff. So it's good branding, though. All right, there it is.